Welcome to Van Life with Steve, and thank you so much for joining me as we continue our trip through colorful Colorado with a visit to the Garden of the Gods City Park. As we come into the city of Colorado Springs, I do have to share this amazing mountain view you can get as you're coming off the interstate. You're overlooking the Air Force Academy here, and the gray peak there in the distance is Pikes Peak. You're looking at the southern end of what's known as the Front Range of the Rocky Mountains, and this is just an incredible view. Those antenna spires you can see there in the mountain on the left, that's actually Cheyenne Mountain, and on the other end of that is NORAD, which we know from the movie War Games and possibly Stargate. Here's Pikes Peak. Uh, we'll get some other views of that mountain. It's 14,110 feet tall, and it is the highest mountain from its location all the way east to the Atlantic Ocean on this continent. Now we're arriving here at Garden of the Gods, we're going to stop at the Mesa Overlook and you can see the Gateway Rocks there. The larger one to the right is the North Gateway Rock. This is known as the Kindergarten Rock, which is to the south of the Gateway Rock. And then here we have the South Gateway Rock. And these are sedimentary rocks, which were formed at the bottom of ancient oceans. And then through a process of uplift and various types of erosion, that's how these rock formations were formed. And you can get an up close look at the summit of Pikes Peak there. The amazing thing about the Garden of the Gods is it's a free park. It's a city park and there's no cost whatsoever. Here we got some deer that are out having a little stroll. I believe I rolled up on a Sunday morning and I made sure to get there early because I figured it was going to be crowded. This is a little bit closer look at the North Gateway Rock. You can see the kissing camels up there at the very top. We'll take a closer look at them a little bit later. But this is known as the Central Garden Parking Area and I recommend you get here early if you want to get a good parking spot. I was really surprised at how large these rock formations are. I mean, I figured they'd be sort of big, but you can kind of see the bird there to give you an idea of how big these things are. Now you're in the central garden area. You can see the plaque there, the dedication plaque, and it recognizes Charles Elliot Perkins, who owned about 480 acres of the park. When he passed away, his family donated it to the city with the stipulation that it be made a park that was free and open to the public. There you can see some uh, unfortunate examples of people carving their name into the rock. Please don't do that. So Garden of the Gods has to be one of the most amazing city parks in the entire world. And it's actually a little bit bigger. The core area at 862 acres is actually bigger than New York City Central Park. And then the greater Garden of the Gods area is over 1,300 acres.
But yeah, these are some just really odd and interesting rock formations. Climbing is allowed here and you have to get a permit. You have to register with the city. You can see a climber there to the right. As we move down to the next area of the park known as Three Sisters Plaza, if you're enjoying this content, I'd really appreciate so much if you give me a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing and turn on the bell for notifications. Thank you so much and let's continue with the video. So now I've looped back around and we'll get a closer look at the kissing camels. I think it's probably best we give the camels some privacy. And now it's time to head on out and explore some more areas of the park. The parking around Balance Rock and the Siamese Twins trailhead was full. So what I ended up doing was parking at the trading post and then hiking out the Balance Rock and then hiking on a couple of trails to make it to the Siamese Twins. So now we're at the area with Balanced Rock. Well, good luck getting a selfie up there. If I could do it again, I think I would immediately get to Balanced Rock at daybreak and then circle back around and then explore the Central Park. So I didn't film the process of walking up to the Siamese Twins, but this is at the end of a fairly long hike and it's really amazing how these formations frame Pikes Peak perfectly there in the background. It's a really great sight. And before I'd set on on van life, I had this crazy idea to maybe try to climb Pikes Peak or really hike up it, but it's 13 miles one way and you have to get started at like 4 a.m. And I was still having problems with the altitude, so I decided to maybe try that another time. Here I believe we have Black Grasshopper. I don't know, he was kind of an interesting looking bug there, but he was nice enough to let me pass and get back to the van.
And with that, it's time to head out of the park. Here again, we have Balance Rock to the right and to the left of Steamboat Rock. You may also want to check out the Visitor Center and the Trading Post. And now we're headed south and we're going to visit a very interesting national park in the next travel video. I want to thank you so very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks and take care. Bye.